right. Hey everyone, welcome back for another deep doc. Today we're uh, oh yeah, we're gonna be taking a look at the cursed paw of ambition. Oh, and uh, you know, it's a good one. It is this whole idea of you know, like the monkey's paw. Yeah. Be careful what you wish for. Classic. And uh, you know, this idea of greed and ambition, and you know, like how those things can desire desire how those things can be twisted. You know. Absolutely. And you know what's really interesting about this one is that it's not like you know you see these stories about these like evil villains with these like crazy ambitions you know uh -huh. this is just a regular guy yeah elliot barker you know just well, kind of like an average joe yeah just living his life and you know he's skeptical at first yeah but you get this sense that there's something underneath yeah that like, there's some kind of discontent there yeah like there's got to be more to life than this yeah you know I think we've all felt that. Oh, absolutely. That, that yearning for something more. So what do you think is that, that like yearning that makes him, you know, kind of susceptible to this? Oh, totally. I think that's what makes him such a compelling character, you know, because he's so relatable. Yeah. He's not this like big, powerful figure. So when his life changes, it's even more dramatic, yeah. you know? So he finds this monkey's paw in this like creepy witch's shop right 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 and it's almost like this battle in his mind yeah logic versus like this desperate desire for more yeah and you know in the end that desire wins out so he wishes for wealth he does he wishes for wealth and that's where things get kind of crazy yeah he gets everything he thought he wanted right the money the fame the recognition the whole nine yards but the story is really asking us you know is it worth it right like be careful what you wish for exactly there's this idea of a sinister price attached to each wish. Oh, interesting. Elliot's wealth ends up isolating him. Oh, how so? He becomes obsessed, paranoid. He's always looking over his shoulder. Like he can't trust anyone. Exactly. And it's like this really powerful illustration of how, you know, something that seems so good yeah. can turn into a prison. Wow. It's like, you know, be careful what you wish for taken to the extreme. Yeah. And then there's that whole thing with his cat. Oh, yeah. Whiskers. Whiskers. That's where it gets really creepy. Like, I get the wealth and the fame. That sounds pretty good. Right. But having your dead cat come back to life? Yeah, that's not on my wish list. So the thank you. But, you know, that's what makes the story so brilliant. I'll see. It's not just about, like, jump the gears and stuff. All right. Whiskers coming back is, like, this symbol, right. this constant reminder of the messed up stuff Elliot's unleashed. Oh, like he's messed with the natural order of things. Totally. It's like a physical manifestation of the price he's paying for his wishes. And it keeps, you know, like the reader on edge. Oh, yeah. The tension just keeps building. So it makes you think about, you know, the consequences. Exactly. Like even small choices yeah. can have these huge ripple effects. Like you think you're just, you know, like making one little wish. Right. But think, it can spiral out of control. And this story really dives into that. It's a commentary on ambition. Ambition. Of that, like, deep human desire for more. Yeah. And it makes you question, you know, what are you willing to sacrifice for that? Yeah, so the cursed paw of ambition, it's kind of like those classic cautionary tales. Right. Like genies in bottles or wishing wells. Yeah, but this one feels different well, it's more psychological yeah it really explores the dark side of getting what you want yeah and like the fear of the unknown right like that idea that you might get what you wish for right but it might not be what you expect so like if you were elliot hmm. knowing what that first wish cost him yeah would you make that second wish that's the question isn't it yeah and it's one we should all be asking ourselves oh wow like what are our ambitions and what are we willing to risk for them you know what lines are we not willing to cross yeah are there some things some doors that are just better left unopened yeah i think that's a great place to leave it i agree food for thought for everyone definitely thanks for joining us for this deep dive thanks everyone and we'll see you next time see you later bye